Hey everyone, Ira Mullet here again, Forest River. Welcome to another how-to video. Now we know as you're set up at a campground, some of the most frustrating moments of your weekend stay or camping trip may be simply leveling your RV. So today we hope we can help you with some of those frustrations. So some of the tools that you need to successfully level your RV is something to take down your stab jacks, a crank, or you can get this little uh, stab jack adapter at your local retail store, um, and a drill if you wish to use a drill and an adapter. If you have a dual axle setup, it's always nice to have a wheel stop available. You'll have a pair of chalk blocks, or two pairs if you wish, and something to help level the unit. In today's video, we will be featuring the Lynx levelers that you can buy in your uh, retail stores, as well as a Forest River Platinum single axle RV. So you may be wondering why it is important to make sure the unit is completely level on your weekend getaway or your camping trip. Some of those reasons include your doors functioning properly, your inside appliances functioning properly, and things of that nature. So the first step in leveling your RV before you unhook your truck or before you plug in your RV and before you operate any of your slide outs is making sure your unit is parked on even ground. Now as we know, a lot of times this doesn't happen. Um, the site that you're parking in, the ground is not even. So today we hope we can show you how to find that even ground using our leveling uh, blocks and so on. First thing we wanna do is make sure the unit is level side to side. So by doing that, join me inside. All right, so now we're inside of the unit. What you're gonna see is we place a level towards the inside of the coach, side to side, to see how uneven it is. What you're hoping for is a nice, even level. However, sometimes, depending on your campsite, you do get a little bit of unevenness where you're parked. So what you wanna do is pull forward in your, before you park, and we're gonna bring you back outside and show you how you level your unit. So in this example, this side of the RV, which is what we would call the off-door side of the RV, would be too low, creating your unit to be not level. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these Lynx levelers, and we're going to put them in sequence in front of this axle, and we're going to drive on top of them to create a level unit. So with these Lynx blocks, you just lay them down and you simply link them together. What you're doing is creating a nice pyramid here to drive on. And you can purchase more of these if needed. If you have a dual axle setup, you can, you can buy another set of these. You can extend them. You can use them for your stab jacks. Uh, you can use them for a lot of different things. I'm gonna pull this back to where it's right in front of your tire. And then I'm gonna pull forward, I'm gonna pull right on top of these. Okay, so now we pulled the unit up on the links blocks and we just check and now we have a level unit. Before you proceed, you wanna make sure you have some chalk blocks. You just slide these underneath here, make sure they're nice and tight. We recommend front and back. All right, so now that your unit is level, now keep in mind, this may take a couple tries. Uh, you can add more blocks as needed depending on how un unlevel your uh, campsite is. Um, and you can also use what we recommend in our owner's manual is just regular two by sixes. And in the owner's manual it states how many you should be using and what sizes that you can also use in place of the links blocks if you wish. So now that we have a level unit, we wanna move on to the next step, which is unhooking your tow ve vehicle. All right, so now that we've disconnected the tow vehicle from the RV, we've leveled from side to side by placing our level this way in the RV towards the middle of the coach. Now we're going to uh, level the coach from front to back. By doing that, we're gonna simply take this level and we're gonna put it this direction in the RV, also towards the center of the RV. That will tell us if we need to go up on our tongue or if we need to go down our tongue jack. So here we're using a manual stab jack. If you have a power stab jack, you simply press the up and down arrow to go up and down on your tongue jack. This one we're gonna keep on cranking in small increments, 
periodically checking the level on the inside of the coach to make sure we're level. Once we're level, we will remove the level and continue to stabilize the RV. All right, so now that your RV is level from front to back and side to side, we can now use these stabilizer jacks to stabilize your unit. Just remember, these jacks are not meant to level your RV. These jacks are simply meant to stabilize your unit during your camping weekend getaway. So what you want to use is you want to have one of these. This is your uh, manual crank um, that you can usually find in your front pass-through or inside your coach when you buy it. You just simply put it on here and you just start cranking down until it hits the bottom. Now what you see here also is I use one of these links blocks to put underneath the stab jack. What this does, it helps you with the stable ground. If you're on a little bit uneven ground or you know the ground is a little bit unstable, something like this or simply blocks of wood may help with that as well. Now what you also know if you're camping is this can take quite a while to do, right? So this is where I would recommend using a, a screw gun and this adapter to really speed up the process. So once you have your stab jack down nice and snug, you want to repeat this for the rest of your jacks on your RV. All right, that wraps up this video on how to level your RV. Just remember, before moving your RV, make sure all your jacks are retracted. If you have any more questions on leveling, or if you have different leveling systems on your RV, make sure to check out the Forest River website at forestriverinc.com or check out your owner's manuals. Until next time, happy camping. All right, just before you leave, I do have one tip for you. If you get tired of you having to drag a level around every time you go camping, putting it inside the coach, coming back outside on your tongue jack, you can save a lot of trips by using a little gadget like this. You can get a variety of different levels for your RV, or you can get some fancy gadgets as well, some electronics or your app on your phone. I choose this one. You can put this on your front of your RV anywhere. Once your unit is level, some of these you can use fasteners, the others you can just peel and stick, put the other one on the side of your coach. What that does is you'll get a level from side to side and front to back, and it'll decrease the amount of steps you gotta put in to level your unit. Have a great camping season.